I really need a taller tripod. Hey, what's up? I'm Allie and welcome back to my channel. I own a lot of books. I don't think that that's like a secret <laughs> to anyone that I own a lot of books. And I, the other thing is, is that I read mostly from the library, which is great. It's good stuff, you know, support your local libraries if you can. But that means I don't tend to read a lot of my own books. Now, the last time I did an own TBR kind of showing every book that I own that I haven't read was, I believe, 2019. And I think we are overdue for a new video showcasing all of the unread books on my shelves. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we look at all my other unread books, I have more to add. You know, might as well add them now. And that is all thanks to today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. It is a monthly book subscription service. You can go on and choose from a selection of hand-selected books that are guaranteed to be absolutely fantastic reads. They tend to be new, debut, upcoming releases, or just ones that they think are going to be really great. One of the things that I really love about the service is that they are standard hardback sizes. <gasps> Gasp, I know, Hardback Hoarder loves hardbacks. <laughs> it's amazing. I so love that they have a selection of add-on books, so if none of them are really calling to you, you can choose from the add-ons as well, or you can just add more. Because sometimes if you're like me, you just can't pick one. For some reason you are in a reading slump or you're just not feeling any of the selections that month, you can skip that month at absolutely no charge. They went ahead and sent me January selection to add to my TBR. Some of the titles that really spoke to me this month from the selection, one of which is Black Cake. This is about a woman who dies and she leaves her two children a black cake and a voice recording. And this voice recording is all about her life and sharing her secrets. And basically it all starts with she is a strong swimmer and she escapes her island under <laughs> charges of murder apparently. But I, these are some of my favorite types of stories where it is someone kind of unveiling secrets of their lives and going through different parts of their lives and how it connects to a present day. So I'm so excited about this one. There's also Love and Other Disasters and this cover is so cute. And this is about two people who are in a cooking competition together and things end up heating up. You know, you know. Hello Delilah as she is entering this competition is getting a little distracted by London who has come out as non-binary and is one of the first on this competition show. Another one, Fiona and Jane, and this is about two Taiwanese American women, and it's just them kind of going through life, friendships, their sexuality, identity, and heartbreak. If you're looking for more of a historical mystery, we have the Magnolia Palace, and this is originally in 1919, and this woman gets this chance to work at the Frick Mansion, and basically there are like these secret things happening and there's jewels involved and thievery and things like that and then it jumps to present day and this place has been turned into a museum and this woman comes across some of the clues hinting to the things that happened in this mansion and she's gonna uncover it. There's also Reckless Girls and this is about a group of people that go to this island for like a, a getaway and then one of them turns up missing and another is dead. I do believe that this is a retelling of an Agatha Christie novel and it kind of sounds, the vibes are very similar and of course they have to navigate this island that seemed like paradise which is turning out to be not so much so. And for the add-on we have the maid and this follows a woman who is a hotel maid and she enjoys her work and then one day she comes into a guest room and finds that they are dead and she becomes a suspect. She gets pulled into this web of lies and chaos that is happening as she has to uncover who really killed 
the ma'am. If you are interested in signing up for book of the month, you can get your first book for $9.99 if you use my code hardback hoarder. And I will have a link to book of the month down below if you just want to check out their site. Thanks again book of the month for sponsoring this video. Now let's look at the 10 million other unread books that I have. Excuse you camera, can you focus on the shelves for once? I want you to focus on the shelves and not me. Anyway, I am going to be showing you all of the unread books. I do have plans. I'm hoping to do a series. I always say this and I feel like I jinx it because then I don't actually do it. But I really want to do a little bit of like a series that is unhaul challenge in a way. And uh, let me let me start this over. Okay, I don't peruse my own shelves very often to be honest. The, I tend to know books that I own and when I think about them I can go find them but for the most part I'm not a big peruser of my shelves. The only time I peruse my shelves are for like challenge videos and recommendation videos and trying to see what I have to give to you all and I'm finding that more challenging because I haven't read a lot of the stuff on my shelves so it's hard to recommend things if I haven't actually read them to recommend to you. Also, I've reached a point, you can kind of see, where I'm out of room. I'm out of room. I could get rid of the trinkets, but I love them. I love having like little knickknacks and stuff displayed on my bookshelves. So I really need to downsize, I feel a little bit, but I really want to do a video series that's like a bookshelf unhaul reading challenge type thing or so, something along the lines of that where I am going to read things off of certain parts of my shelves and try to read all those things and whatever I don't get to or whatever I end up not liking has to go essentially because some of these things have been on my shelves for years not just like one or two we're talking like six seven years sitting on my shelves like, what am I doing with them at this point? So that's the whole shebang. I You didn't need that much of a background information, but that's what you got. So um, I am going to show you the books on my shelves, my TBR cart, and then I also have a stack of books that hasn't quite made it onto the shelves yet because they need wrapped. If you didn't know, I wrap a lot of my books because I want a consistent kind of color scheme going on throughout my books. <sighs> What did I get myself into when I did that? Pull some stuff off of the top shelf and we have, these are just like some series that I haven't really gotten around to finishing. The Silvered Serpents, which is a uh, part of the Gilded Wolves. I don't know the official name of that series, but this is the second one. I don't know if it's just a duology or if it was announced that it was gonna be more than that. Also, King of Scars, another duology that I haven't gotten around to. I don't even have the second book yet, but I'm sure I will get around to that eventually. I do wanna give the whole Grisha verse a reread before that happens though. We also have Modern Fairy fairy tales and this is a huge bind up. I think it's beautiful. I do think I would want to get like the separate ones just because like this is so big and so uncomfortable to hold but it is beautiful and I love having this as part of my collection. How the King of Elfham Learned to Hate Stories and this is just a really short collection. I don't know why I haven't read this yet. Actually I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my TBR <laughs> cart because I think this is gonna be a really fantastic winter read, especially because it's just short and it's got like beautiful different illustrations and stuff inside of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one to the side. Then I do have a whole series that I haven't gotten around to. Darker Shade of Magic. And of course, along that with that, we have a gathering of shadows and a conjuring of light. So I do have that whole series to read. 56 days, we have 1984, good to have. I'm not so into reading classics. I did it for years in college. Don't care to continue in my everyday adult life. All the stars and teeth as well as are you sleeping? Art of breaking things. Annalise Rising and the Armored Saint. And I Do Not Forgive You, which is a collection of short stories I'm really excited about. I've actually started this and just for whatever reason didn't finish it. Happens sometimes. Sometimes I forget that I'm reading a short story collection. 
Not necessarily that it's bad. I just forget. This haul is the Anthropocene Reviewed, which is John Green's uh, essays and Alligator Candy, which is a nonfiction book. So both of those are fairly new. So we have All Creatures Great and Small, which is a nonfiction about animals. I love those. We have Angel Fall and Bring Me Back. Beyond the Black Door, and I've heard really fantastic things about this. And then After Love, which is a newer edition. Beast Made of Night, as well as Blood of Wonderland. We have Ariadne and Brave New World. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, which I know was all my last one, and The Ask and the Answer. Arsenic and Adobo and Apples Never Fall. N yeah, Apples Never Fall. Hoarding Darkness. The Child Finder. Crenshaw. The Couple Next Door. Circle of Shadows. Fountains of Silence. Captive Prince, which I've heard not great things about. So we will see how this goes. A Curse So Dark and Lonely, Crown of Thunder, City of Bastards, City of Brass, a Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow, which I've heard decent things about, a Curse of, Curse of the Spectre Queen, City of Orphans, and Chestnut Man. Elephant in the Garden, which I know has been on my TBR for absolutely years. Etiquette and Espionage. Eight Will Fall. Esperanza Rising. Have the Edge of Anything. And Ember in the Ashes. Erased. Elysium Girls. The End of the Pier. The Essex Serpent. The Extra Empire of the Wild. And then the Four Winds. I also have these editions of A Song of Ice and Fire on here. I have not read this series. I honestly do not have plans to read this series anytime soon. And then I also have everything we didn't say underneath those. We have Beloved by Toni Morrison, which has been on my TBR forever. Broken Wish. Look how beautiful that is. And I do think this is a series where each author, each book is by a different author, I believe. Before I Let You Go and The Book of Longings. Bone Crier's Moon and Barbara the Slut. Book of Magic, I don't know if I'm going to hold on to this one or not because I don't really have an interest in reading Practical Magic. We have Blood Sisters, The Bookman. I also have The Bronze Horseman here. Now, I do know that there are some problematic themes with inside of this book that have since come to light. I do think I am going to hold on it onto it since I already own it and I know that it was pretty hyped way back in the day so we are going to see. I am very skeptical about this but we will see. The Pale and the Bright, uh, Bright We Burn and The Breakdown. I also have the Beyonders World Without Magic and Bridge of Clay is up there. I don't feel like ruining this whole stack of books to get it down there. We have the Book of V, the Brilliant Death, Black Sun, Broken Monsters, the Beholders, or Beholder, Black Pearl, and Bone Gap. Lainey Taylor's Dreams of Gods and Monsters. We have the Dating Plan, the Devouring Grey, Devil in the Dark Water. We have Damnation Spring, Dress Coded, we have Damned, Deadly Education, The Divers Game, Dragon Pearl, Seas of Blood and Starlight, we have Dewey the Cat, The Dark Above, I do think this is part of a series, Dark Amelia, Daughter of the Burning City, The Diviners, oh it's so beautiful. Doll Baby and Dark Dare Mighty Things. Oh, Editing Me is going to hate me. Yes, I do. Yes, I do.
We have first person singular. This is stories. This was a gift from Chris. We have Fat Chance Charlie Vega, which was one of my most anticipated releases last year, and I just never got around to it. We also have a fable up here, which a lot of people were raving about when it came out. And I think the sequel has since come out. It's really on top of my game. I've back here, which is a nonfiction about Jack the Stalking Jack the Ripper. I'm really excited about Fury Born. I'm also really excited. I've heard really fantastic things about this. Fireborn. Flame in the Mist, which has also been on my TBR a long ass time. Killing of Kings. Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. Five Total Strangers. The Fortress. For a Muse of Fire. Fighting Words. Firebirds Rising. Forest of Souls. The final revival of Opal and Neb. Foolish Hearts. Fire and Heist. Fates and Furies. And Fall of the Giants, which is... Oh my god, this book is heavy. This is a fucking workout. I don't know about this. This is a workout. And then I do have this one displayed on this shelf as well, and that is The Damned, which I started and just, at the time, wasn't really in the mood for. We have The Ghost Factory, which has a really neat cover. The Gilded Ones. Pearl Serpent Thorn, which I tried in DNF after the time, so I might give it another try and see how it goes. Girls of Storm and Shadow. The Glass Castle. Girl A. I have the girl with the dragon tattoo, the girl who played with fire, and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest here. Just chilling. Just, just chilling here. We have girl made of stars. Uh, <laughs> the Guinevere Deception, Gods of Jade and Shadow. Grown. This golden flame, Give the Dark My Love. The Girl in the Mirror. Imposter Syndrome, Instructions for Dancing, In a Book Club, Far Away, The Iron Trial, Illumine, and then Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell are back there as well. We also have Imaginary Friend here, Inheritance of Ashes, Kingdom of Little Wounds, gorgeous pages, The Knife of Never Letting Go, Infinite Country, Know You Remember, Kingdom of the Blazing Phoenix, I Killed Zoe Spanos, Kings of the Wild, Inheritance of Orchidea Divina, Jade City, A Kingdom of Copper, In Every Mirror She's Black, Incendiary, The Incredible Secrets of Hadley Hill, In Short Measures, and we have the kindest lie and leave the world behind. Also down here out of sight is the invisible man. <laughs> How to marry Keanu Reeves. We have Hex Life. Hollow City. Oh gosh. Hollow City. Harlem Shuffle. The In the House Swap. Haro the Ninth. The Heart Principal, Hamnet, A Hero Born, Half Sick of Shadows, The Heart Forger, How Lucky, Hate Ship, Friendship, Courtship, Love Ship, Marriage, A Heart in the Body in the World, The Hunting Wives, A Heart of Thorns, Happily Ever After, Haunted, Hello Girls, Hillbilly Elegy, which I've heard mm, not great things about, have A House of Salt and Sorrows, Little Children, Lifelike, The Last Thing He Told Me, we also have Lux Opposition, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Love Hypothesis, The Lion Game, 
Lucky Broken Girl, Lullaby, The Light Between Oceans. Who copies of Lies You Never Told Me? We also have Like a Love Story, The Last Mrs. Parish, The Lantern's Ember, Lost Apothecary, Lux Beginnings, Last Kingdom, The Library of the Unwritten, and Lilac Girls, Liberty, The Little Mermaid, The Lincoln Highway, Light of Days, which is weird. I've had this book for years and I saw it on the Goodreads challenge this year. So I don't know if this took a really long time to come out or what. Life After Life. And I also have the Sisters Grimm series. I don't own all of them, but of the ones that I do have that I haven't read yet, we have The Ever After War and also The Story Inside. I do have some random books shoved down on the very bottom shelf that I just didn't know what to do with. Ace of Shades. I'm very up in the air about I gave this a try once and didn't really like it, but a lot of people seem to love it, so I'm thinking I need to give it a retry. I'm thinking I should just get, like, a finished copy of it, maybe. This is uh, a Dungeons & Dragons book. I don't know how I ended up with this. I don't know. I saw it and was like, sure, why not? We also have Lore down here. We have Hocus Pocus down here. This Twilight Before Christmas. And then the Rogue King. And then King of Thorns because I accidentally bought like the second or third in the series and didn't buy the first. On to the other side of my bookshelves. So from, from the very top, I you can't really see it in this angle, but there is a top, very tippy top shelf. Those are like older series. And before I would have told you that like, all of the Goosebumps books need to read, but that is no more because I read all 62 of them last year. There's only really two things up there that got thrown up there, one of which is the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is like the prequel whatever to The Hunger Games. So I might read this, maybe do a reread of The Hunger Games. I don't know. I say this, I don't have time. I don't know what I'm thinking. And then also The House in the Cerulean Sea is up there. I'm very much on the fence about this book. I know that a lot of people absolutely love this book and adore it. I am a little iffy about the origins of this book because it was inspired by the residential schools where they basically stole children away, stole indigenous children away and put them in these schools to give them an education, but really they just stripped them of their identities and whatnot. So I, I'm a little iffy that the author came forward and was like, that was the inspiration for this. And I know a lot of other people have also felt that way as well. So I do already own it. I know a lot of people have enjoyed it. And going forward, I know that I can say, hey, obviously this is where this book come for, comes from and be subjective about it and have some sort of background to what I am reading. So uh, there is that. I don't have to like pretend that that isn't happening. I can acknowledge it and see how that how the book handles that. Oh, okay, so we have the Merciless and then I also have the Merciless 2 to get to. I have Moon Glow, also Master of One, Monsters of Men, and also Me Talk Pretty One Day, Morning Star, the May Queen Murders as well as Mirage, Master of Margarita, as well as a man called Ove. Ove, Ove, whatever. Muse of Nightmares, as well as a Mercy. Make something up. Get out of the bags. Yes, you. What are you doing? We have Memorial. Don't know why I held that up for you. I like you were going to be able to see what that was. The Merciful Crow Mapping the Bones. Little, I don't really know what to do with this. This is Magic Lessons. I love this cover. I don't think I'm going to read Magic Lessons. We also have the Magic Misfits, uh, Map of Days, and then the Midnight Lie is also up here. Pretty Little Wife here. Pretty Things. The Perfect Nanny. The Painted Girls. People we meet on vacation, a pinch of magic, the prison healer, the perishing pride and prejudice. Don't look at me. We have paradise, the people we keep, 
Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Love this cover. Persuasion. People Like Her. Poppy War. Peter Pan, which I've heard really mixed things about. The Physic Book of Deliverance Dane. Piece of Cake. Paint It Black. And then the very last one on this one is the Paris Hours. I have the Shadows. Sarah's Key. We have the Survivors. Shielded. The School for Good and Evil. Storm Dancer. Um, very up in the air about this one. I've heard that it has um, a racist depiction. So we'll... Well, I need to look at a few more reviews on that one. A Song of Rice and Ruin. The Scandalous Sisterhood, A Prickwood Place. Somebody's Daughter. The Swallow, which is a ghost story. The Shadow of the Wind. The Solitude of Prime Numbers. Snuff as well as Splintered. Something in the Water. A scimitar, a scimitar, a semi oh my gosh, a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares. Also have songs from the deep. Social creature, also the savior's champion, Sal and Gabby break the universe. My Christmas tree is in the way. Oh, and my end shelf. We have the Orphan Queen, the Nature of Witches. I do have two copies of this. I have this one and then I have a finished copy as well. So this is the ARC version. Not that I could tell. We have Our Violent Ends. Once There Were Wolves. Now I Rise. Nocturna. Naked. Not a Happy Family. The Office of Historical Corrections. Olga, Dry Di Olga Dies Dreaming. We have the Novice. The Neighbor's Secret. The Nightingale. Vana Threads. Nine, The Oasis, Out Now, Onyx and Ivory, Outlawed on the Spectrum. One more time. Looks like I've pretty much read everything back there. We have Rose Under Fire, Rebel of the Sands, Razor Blade Tears, we have The Removed, we have Queen of Hearts, Rebel Rose, Queens of Innis Lear, and then Rock, Paper, Scissors. Song of Blood and Stone also have, what is this one? The Summer of Broken Rules, The Stone Girl, The Silent Patient, Bars Above, Six Crimson Cranes, we have <laughs> The Starless Sea, A Song Below Water, Sorcery of Thorns, Soul Journey, A Spark of Light, the storied life of A.J. Fickery. We have Sight Witch. We have the Serpent King. Spectacle. Storm Siren. We have the smell of other people's houses. The secrets of a charmed life. A study in Charlotte. Scorpion Rules. I don't want to talk about how much it just hurt. My nail just ripped off. Um, the Secret Rooms. Star Daughter. Then we have the Smoke Thieves and the Sweetest Remedy. We have The Toll by Neil Schusterman. Three Escapes of Hannah Arden. Tempest and Slaughter. And I think this might be part of a series, but I'm not too sure. So let me know. A Torch Against the Night. Uh, those Other Women, Night Out from Dogfish. Trickster's Choice. And I'm thinking this is what The Tempest and Slaughter is like part, like it's like a companion to this series. Tell Me Lies. The hell is this one? A Tenth Girl. Tender is the Night. Three Sides of a Heart. To Best the Boys. This Time Next Year. This Close to OK. Tenth of December. They All Fell Down. Tess of the Road. Sky Falling. Torn. These Rebel Waves, Too Good to Be True, There Will Come a Darkness, Things We Lost to the Water, and then The Tattooist of Auschwitz. 
And then coming down here, we also have World Without End, Truth Witch, Ties That Tether. This is how it always is. Two copies of these Violent Delights. Hinged Viper, Under Rose Tinted Skies, Unwind, Vicious Rumor. We have Under, Under Wildwood which is massive for a middle grade, I feel. We are the Brennans, White Bodies, World Without Princes, The Woman in Cabin 10, When We Were Vikings, and the last one on this shelf is Upon the Flight of the Queen. Now this shelf right here is my Rick Riordan shelf. I have not read the... Oh, son of a bitch. What's it called? Heroes of Olympus series. So I have The Lost Hero, Son of Ne... Oh, Jesus. The Lost Hero, Son of Neptune. We have House of Hades, Mark of Athena, and Blood of Olympus. I also haven't finished The Trials of Apollo. I have The Tyrant's Tomb that I actually own. Then also the... The Red Pyramid series, I, I think that's what it's called, but we have the Red Pyramid, the Throne of Fire, and the Serpent's Shadow, and then on the shelf, because the colorings kind of match, I have Fire with Fire. We have We Were Restless Things, When Women Were Birds, we have Wind Witch, War of the Bastards, What's Mine and Yours, Wicked Fox, we also have Witches of New York. We have Witches Steeped in Gold, The Wife Upstairs, We Are Not Free, a second copy of We Are the Brennans. For why? Wind Up Bird Chronicles, Let the Woods Keep, and Watch Me Disappear. So that I can't reach back there are What Comes After, You, and Zombies vs. Unicorns. And then the very last shelf on here is my Cassandra Clare shelf. I have not read Chain of Gold. I haven't read Chain of Iron. Also haven't read Queen of Air and Darkness, The Bane Chronicles, The Red Squirrels of Magic, or, or The Lost Book of White. You thought I was done, didn't you? But I'm not. That I have a small stack here that hasn't made it to my shelves yet. So we have the collective, the family, a little hope, beasts of prey, defy the night, flicker in the dark, the city we became, and head over heels. The area back here has my graphic novels. So back here we have even more shit. We have Once Upon a Time, Shadow of the Queen. Once Upon a Time is... I'm well beyond the days of that. Uh, this is 920 London. This isn't actually an arc. I'm not even sure if this is like the full volume or not. Medeus. I think that's how you say that. Kiss number eight. Amulet. Book one and book two. Pandora's Legacy. Cat's Cradle. Zeta the Space Girl. And the Cute Girl Network. Last but not least, we have my TBR cart here. So I'm just gonna quickly show you everything that is left on my TBR cart. Kernisi, the Grimrose Girls, the Corpse Queen, the Devourers, Beasts and Beauty, the Thursday Murder Club, I'm Honey Girl, My Heart is a Chainsaw, the Keeper of the Night, Bunny, Once Upon a Broken Heart, as well as A History of Wild Places. Currently, I have started Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Don't know when the hell I'll finish that. The Lake of Dead Languages, The Castle School for Troubled Girls, Never Let Me Go, and The Year of the Gadfly. Okay, that is, that is it. That is all. That's all I got. That is all of my owned TBR books that I know of. Thank you so much for making it through this video and hanging in there. I am like beyond frustrated now. I'm ready to go take a nap. I'm tired. <laughs> this took like two hours. I don't know why it took so long.
So I hope that you all have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see future videos from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.